spiritually free. Because if I find myself getting back into the same things over and over and over again, then something within me has not been fixed. I'm still operating according to that as my master. And with it being my master, it's going to lead me back where it wants me to be. So if I'm finding myself continually in my own bondages, it's due to the fact I need to check myself because there's still something disobedient within my character and nature. Okay. Now in the same turn, rebellion or having that sour character and spirituality, if we're not careful, just like I said with the bondages, as I said, lights attract lights, laws of physics, rebellion will cause you to always seek rebellion. Amen. I don't know if anybody hear me right now. It'll cause you to keep doing, not only keep doing it, but it'll cause you to even go looking for it. Amen. See, notice that the word says, seek ye first the kingdom. Christ gives us the concept of seeking obedience and seeking liberation. So he says, it's, 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 it's an Indiana Jones. It's a, y'all, y'all got to catch, catch what I'm saying. It's a treasure hunt. Come on. For you to get the things of God. Amen? Amen. But little do we know in dark speech, everything of the will of Satan is a treasure hunt as well. But the thing is, which one do we want the most? Mm. Most times, everybody only wants the treasure that they can find easily. Amen. Uh, y'all, y'all, y'all catch one. If I can get to it easy, then, I, you know what I'm saying, I ain't got to put a lot of effort into it. So most folks will default to doing the easy road versus the hard road. That's why Jesus said it would be easier for a camel to go through the eye of needle than for a rich man to get into the kingdom of heaven. So, so in that, what happens is, it's easy for us to get up sour. It's easy for us to have a ne- negative spirituality on a day-to-day basis versus being uh, 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 obedient and in a righteous one. Because y'all know being righteous takes work. Y'all, y'all feel what I'm saying? When I get up in the morning, when I put a smile on my face and say, this is going to be the best day of my life, then I can step out and go as far as the car and turn the ignition and it not start or something happened, then all of a sudden, now rebellion has the opportunity to enter into my day. Are are, are y'all really getting what I'm saying? However, notice that if I already got up with a rebellious spirit about myself, then I ain't even looking for nothing good in my day. Y'all know there's some folks that are, uh, we say, there's some folks that are optimists, but most folks are pessimists. Because if my day has started yesterday negative, then why should my tomorrow be positive? So I'm already in the characteristic of rebellion just because of previous experience. Just like I said today in the word that I put out, I said God gives us the authority to change our life versus life having the authority to change you. So in this, I've got to understand rebellion harvests itself or yokes itself with life. Life is always going to give us some negative results, but it doesn't mean that it's got to change my character as to how I operate my day, my life, my month, my year, my household, my family, my worship. It should have no dominion over me. Amen. Amen. So rebellion becomes uh, 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 what a man begins to seek. I'm going to line it up. Turn with me to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 11. Proverbs 17, 11, it says, An evil man seeketh only rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. Okay, so that's the word of God. It says, An evil man seeketh, means look for rebellion. Now, let me clarify this because some folks ain't got this clear either when it talks about evil. Everybody wants the words together. They say evil, wicked, all the same. No, they are not. Come on. Amen. If, if, if we look at that word evil, it comes from the Hebrew word ra, 
Okay? Now, believe it or not, when we, there, there are a lot of definitions for Ra in the Hebrew, but if I can summarize it, it means to have no self-worth. Okay, so somebody should really be connecting this, you know, because that's why, that's why even the word tells us to speak blessings over those who are wicked or evil. See, blessing means benefit. Amen. Evil means no self-worth. Okay, so y'all should be putting something together here. Most of the folks that do wicked stuff to you is evil within because they ain't got no worth for themselves. Amen. 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 Wicked activity is only the manifestation of somebody operating in a sour spirit that, and they have a sour spirit because they feel they ain't worth nothing to nobody. So what happens is God's word tells us to cancel it out by speaking blessings over them, meaning even though you don't think you're worth something, I'm going to speak that you are. And so sooner or later, God is going to endorse one of our God words in the atmosphere to cancel out the other. So what happens is, people that are rebellious, we already got the root cause. You have to cancel out the fact that they don't feel that they're worth anything. Because misery loves company. And if I'm miserable about myself, then I want everybody else to be on the same team as me feeling the same way that I do. So, once again, a rebellious person is somebody now that their life is directed to always looking for sour things to happen and, and build on their sour spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, now, that being said, with that being said, we get one other point here this evening. I know we're getting there at the time. Um, how does sacrifice impact obedience or rebellion? Amen. And as I said here earlier, sacrifice is what we do for atonement for sin. Sacrifice means to slaughter or to kill. It comes from the Hebrew word zabak. Amen. Um, so, if I've got to sacrifice in this, it means something has to die in the process. Amen. If, I, if I'm going to claim that I'm going to be a child of God and I'm going to operate in obedience, I'm telling you up front, there's two equations in the mathematical formula that you've got to be willing to sacrifice. Disobedience and rebellion. Amen. Amen. Obedience is heavier on this side of the pendulum then disobedience and rebellion. Notice you got to have two of them Amen. to offset what you do in obedience. So the more that I understand about obedience, and if I'm going to walk after the same characteristic of Christ, then i got to know what I'm carrying to my cross. Amen. See, a lot of people have not realized that, you know, when Christ went to Calvary, he did not go to Calvary not knowing what he was doing. Uh, I, I, hope, I hope somebody's grabbing this. He went to Calvary knowing the totality of the plan of what he had to crucify. Amen. Okay, so some still ain't got that. Okay, let, let me take this deeper for some folks. The scripture says that he was crucified at Golgotha. Amen. Amen. The place of the skull. Amen. So the reality of that is Jesus had to be crucified in his head or his skull when he went to Calvary before he physically died on the physical cross. Come on, come on. So that means when are we going to be crucified in our skull, at our Golgotha? There's a Golgotha in each and every one of us of a place that a death has to occur. But I've got to understand what I'm going to kill. Hey man, in the military, we don't go to battle without knowing the name of the enemy. Amen. Oh, come on, somebody. You got to identify who's the adversary. And usually you have a class on what the adversary wears, the adversary's M.O., uh, 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 unless I'm talking to ceiling lights. So we've got to understand this. When it comes to 
having a sacrifice within ourselves and us operate in obedience, we got to know what we're fixing to sacrifice and kill off in order for our obedience to stand strong. Amen. 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 Praise God. I'm, I'm going to stop it right there. Amen. Being obedient unto time. Amen. Praise God.